So in 1965, Sid Barrett joins the band, the T-Set. And while they're scheduled to perform at a music festival, they're surprised to find out that there's another band also scheduled to perform, also named the T-Set. Well, shortly thereafter, they would become known as Pink Floyd, drawing inspiration for their name from two Piedmont-style blues guitarists, Pink Anderson. She gave me money when I'm in need. And Floyd Council. I live my baby crying. And while the name Pink Floyd would go on to be known worldwide and across generations, what do we know about the two bluesmen who are loosely affiliated with the band through their name? Pink Anderson from South Carolina and Floyd Council from North Carolina. Well, both men would be born at the start of the 20th century, grow up and perform around the Jim Crow era of the Southeast. Now, Pink was born February 12, 1900 in Lawrence, South Carolina, and he would grow up around the Greenville and Spartanburg areas, eventually becoming a, a performer and entertainer within medicine shows. And Floyd, who was born in Chapel Hill, North Carolina on September 2, 1911, would grow up busking on the streets of Chapel Hill with his two brothers and fellow bluesman, Blind Boy Fuller. With limited opportunities to record, it was almost by happenstance that both men would find themselves in the liner notes of a Blind Boy Fuller album that would end up in Sid Barrett's record collection. And in some really weird twist of fate, whereas Pink Anderson and Floyd Council would end up being associated with Pink Floyd without actually being members of the band, Sid Barrett would end up sharing a very similar fate as his tenure with the band would be very short lived and he would end up having more of an influence as the subject matter for some of their biggest hits, more so than actually as a member of Pink Floyd. So this is really just the start of the story of Pink Anderson and Floyd Council as we're starting to deal with a time era where much like with Robert Johnson, there's, there's very few records, very few images, and a lot of the stories are more you know legends than facts. But you can learn about them online on Wikipedia and other sites. You can find their music online. So I would encourage you to check them out. And in addition to that, Pink Anderson's son is still performing under the name Little Pink Anderson. Basically the mother of all American music. Chicken jaw and everything else he could see. 